A new chapter in American air power is quietly unfolding. The United States Air Force is preparing to welcome its first new bomber in over three decades, the B-21 Raider. This sleek, futuristic machine is designed to meet the challenges of the 21st century and maintain America's edge over potential adversaries. As global tensions rise, the need for a bomber that can penetrate the most heavily defended airspace has never been more urgent. The B-21 promises to hold any target at risk anywhere in the world at any time. Developed in secrecy by Northrop Grumman, the B-21 is the result of years of innovation and ambition. The Air Force plans to buy at least 100 of these advanced aircraft forming the backbone of its future long-range strike fleet. The Raiders' introduction marks a pivotal moment, signaling a shift in how the United States projects power and prepares for technology-driven conflicts. Unlike its predecessors, the B-21 was designed using advanced digital engineering and open architecture, allowing for rapid upgrades and integration of new technologies. This adaptability is crucial in an era where today's cutting-edge systems can become obsolete tomorrow. The B-21 is built to stay ahead of the curve, ensuring its relevance for decades to come. Its first flight in late 2023 was a major milestone, moving the program from secrecy into critical flight testing. The success of this program will shape the future of American national security for generations. The B-21 Raider is officially designated as a long-range penetrating strike bomber, built to fly thousands of miles and slip through enemy air defenses undetected. Its mission bypasses sophisticated anti-access and area denial systems to strike critical targets deep within enemy territory. Northrop Grumman, leveraging its experience from the B-2 Spirit, won the contract in 2015 and designed the Raider for affordability, sustainability, and performance. The B-21 is a critical component of America's nuclear triad, providing a flexible, recallable deterrent. It will eventually replace the aging B-1 and B-2 bombers, modernizing the fleet and ensuring a credible, survivable deterrent. Beyond its nuclear role, the B-21 can carry a large payload of precision-guided munitions for conventional missions. Its advanced sensors and data links enable it to act as a flying command and control hub, gathering intelligence and coordinating with other forces. This versatility makes the Raider a multi-purpose asset, shaping the battlefield in ways its predecessors could not. It is a strategic weapon, intelligence platform and network node, all in one, all in. The B-21 Raider's defining feature is its next-generation stealth technology. Its flying wing design, radar absorbent materials and advanced electronic systems make it nearly invisible to enemy detection. This allows it to penetrate advanced air defense networks, delivering its payload without warning. The B-21's impressive range enables global reach, allowing missions from the continental U.S. and reducing reliance on vulnerable forward bases. This strategic flexibility complicates enemy defenses and stretches their resources thin. What truly sets the B-21 apart is its digital foundation. Designed and tested in a virtual environment, engineers use digital twins to simulate and refine every aspect before production. This digital approach streamlines manufacturing and maintenance saving time and money. The B-21's open systems architecture allows rapid integration of new software, sensors, and weapons, like updating apps on a smartphone. This plug-and-play adaptability ensures the Raider can counter emerging threats and remain the world's most advanced bomber. If a new enemy radar appears, the Air Force can quickly deploy new software to defeat it. The B-21 is built to evolve, not become obsolete. The Pentagon's latest budget allocates $4.5 billion for the B-21 program, a clear signal of its strategic priority. This funding accelerates the transition from test program to full-scale production, getting bombers into Air Force hands faster. Building over 100 bombers requires a robust supply chain, skilled workforce, and efficient production facilities. The investment helps Northrop Grumman and its 400-plus suppliers scale up, purchase materials, and train workers. The Air Force's goal, build the B-21 fleet quickly to replace aging B-1, B-2, and B-52 bombers. Faster production means retiring older, less capable aircraft sooner, saving on maintenance and modernizing the force. This financial commitment reassures allies and signals U.S. technological superiority to adversaries. The sight of B-21S rolling off the line is a tangible symbol of American power. It complicates any nation's calculus considering aggression against U.S. interests. The $4.5 billion is not just for an aircraft. 
it's an investment in national security. The future of deterrence depends on it. The urgency behind the B-21 program is driven by a rapidly changing global security landscape. The era of uncontested U.S. military dominance is over. China and Russia have modernized their militaries to counter American power. Both have built sophisticated air defense networks to keep U.S. forces at bay. The B-21 is designed to pierce these defenses, especially in the Indo-Pacific, where China's assertiveness has raised alarms. Its long range allows strikes from Guam or the continental U.S., deterring potential conflict and forcing adversaries to invest heavily in defense. In Europe, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has highlighted the need for a strong deterrent. The B-21 reassures NATO allies and signals that aggression will be met with overwhelming response. The strategic environment isn't just about major powers. Advanced air defenses are spreading to smaller nations and non-state actors. Countries like Iran and North Korea are acquiring technologies that threaten U.S. interests. The B-21's stealth and range give the president viable options in crises where other forces might be too vulnerable. It ensures the U.S. can project power and protect its interests anywhere in the world. For Northrop Grumman, the B-21 Raider is both a crowning achievement and a monumental challenge. The company took a financial risk with a firm fixed-price contract, absorbing overruns during early production. Building the world's most advanced bomber proved more expensive than anticipated, with inflation and supply chain disruptions driving up costs. Northrop Grumman is investing its own money in early bombers, betting on future efficiency and profitability as production matures. Later contracts will shift to cost plus, helping the company recover and sustain the program. The company's future success is deeply tied to the B-21 success. This high-stakes gamble highlights the complex relationship between the Pentagon and its contractors. Northrop Grumman must now execute flawlessly, not just for shareholders, but for national security. The B-21 program will define the company and U.S. air power for decades. Moving the B-21 from development to full-rate production is a daunting challenge. Scaling up from prototypes to mass production requires perfecting every step, from parts delivery to final assembly. Managing a vast supply chain of over 400 suppliers is critical. Any delay can halt production. Post-pandemic supply chains remain fragile, and a shortage of a single component can stop the line. Northrop Grumman is working to build resilience and identify risks, but pressure is constant. Building a stealth bomber also demands a highly skilled workforce. Engineers, software developers, technicians, recruiting and training these specialists is a major effort in a competitive labor market. The company must relentlessly drive down costs, refining assembly and leveraging digital design to prevent problems. The goal, make each bomber cheaper and more efficient than the last. Success means the Air Force gets the bombers it needs at a price the nation can afford. The stakes for production are as high as for the technology itself. The B-21 Raider program is a major economic engine, supporting thousands of high-skilled jobs across the U.S. Northrop Grumman's main facilities, and 400-plus suppliers create opportunities in advanced manufacturing, software, and material science. For workers, the B-21 is a source of pride and purpose. They're building a critical national security asset. Many are veterans or from military families, giving the mission personal meaning. The program is the pinnacle of aerospace engineering revitalizing skills that might otherwise be lost. The Raider is a franchise program, securing Northrop Grumman's future and generating steady revenue for decades. This stability allows investment in future technology, keeping the U.S. ahead. The B-21 also preserves unique expertise in stealth aircraft, training a new generation for future challenges. It ensures America retains the capability to produce advanced systems vital for long-term security. The B-21 Raider's journey is just beginning. As of mid-2025, the first test aircraft is undergoing rigorous flight testing at Edwards Air Force Base. Each flight refines the bomber's performance, stealth, and systems, paving the way for full-rate production. All eyes are on Northrop Grumman's Palmdale facility. Can they ramp up production to meet Air Force needs? Overcoming supply chain issues and maintaining a skilled workforce are crucial. The Pentagon's $4.5 billion investment provides resources, but execution is everything. The B-21's open architecture means it can evolve. Expect new weapons, networking, and even autonomous capabilities. 
The story of the B-21 is about more than building a plane. It's about how it adapts over decades of service. The Raider is a game changer, ensuring American air power remains unmatched. The path ahead is challenging, but the stakes could not be higher. The world will be watching as the B-21 takes its place as the guardian of the skies.